Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Optics Lab. Today I've got this giant machine on my desk and it's gonna be a different video because here I'm going to give you a quick rundown of this beautiful microscope. So what's special about this microscope that it's a binocular microscope. Um, obviously you have seen a binocular one which has only got these two lens on the top where you can see the objects. But this has got a third lens for the camera. So what you see on top is a little camera which is a 4K camera. It has also got a HDMI port so you can hook up a monitor and also it's got the power input. It's also got the USB port but I don't know, I haven't, I haven't used it. So I've got this broken motherboard. Um, so let's put this on the workbench and it's got a special light as well. Um, so if I turn this thing on, as you can see, it's not really bright, but yeah, it's really bright for the camera. I don't know, there's something special about this um, ring light. So if I try to show you the image from this, uh, from this binocular lens, uh, let me try to focus it. Um, it's really hard because my camera just doesn't work that way. Um, oh yeah, there you go. Um, let me move the thing a bit to the side. Oh, there you see the capacitors. It's far better when you look with your eyes. My camera just doesn't justify the view. So what works really well is the camera. So if I press the power button, you'd hear the three beeps and in a second, you'd see the display onto the monitor. And there you go. Really nice and crystal clear result on the monitor, as you can see, um, if I try to show you. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing view and you can easily get some work done here. So you might be wondering where I bought this machine from. Uh, it's from AliExpress. So I'll try to show you the listing as well. I bought it for $460. Um, as you can see, I've got this one, which is 55 megapixel 2K 4K HDMI, which means it's got USB and HDMI 4K. So you can see the 4K directly using the HDMI. So if you are filming using the camera, like making a video, then it being 2K. What's funny about this microscope that it's also got a Y-axis handle, which doesn't work really well because if you if you notice I'm currently not using that y-axis camera I just directly connect it to the x-axis one the reason is the camera sticks far out from the workbench and there is no purpose like it it, it wouldn't work for you if you're having the motherboard sticking right at the edge of the workbench so yeah that's why I didn't use that um, y-axis rod so I forgot to mention about the zoom feature of this microscope. It works really well as well. So once you adjust all the focus point, which will, which I'll explain you shortly, it just works like a charm. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. It's amazing. So the focus point is one for the camera and one for the main lens. So this is to go up and down. Um, and the other one is to adjust the focus for the camera. So as you can currently see, we're a bit out of focus. So if I twist it a little bit and there you go. This is the perfect focus right now and you can just literally zoom in and zoom out and you don't have to change the focus. So once you set all the focus points, then you can just directly zoom in and zoom out and it works like a charm. So this microscope works quite well, but yeah, it's not, it's not by luck. Um, I literally spent um, hours and hours trying to search a good microscope for my lab. And the first one I got was from Timu. Yeah, you heard it right, Timu. Uh, it's a cheapie, it was about $150, and uh, it works pretty well, I would say. So if I put the motherboard down, um, as you can see on the display, it's not that bad. I can't find any components. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's not that bad, the image quality is quite good. But the problem was that when I got this machine, the, this lens was right here. Yeah, somewhere about here. So I had to use my big brain and I used those threaded rods to extend the height. And now it's a lot better. But the problem was when it was like here, I couldn't use my soldering station. I couldn't use the soldering wiring or the hot air. So one thing which really puts me off uh, is the connection with the laptop. So it has a 
port on the back which connects to your laptop. But when you try to download a software and run this thing, it keeps disconnecting for some reason, which was pretty frustrating. And the software wasn't easy to use either. Uh, I couldn't record, it has all sort of glitches and problems, the screen flickers sometimes, it doesn't turn on sometimes, yeah, all sorts of problems. But this one, this works like a charm. I've never had any problems working with this microscope. Obviously I've done some rework as well. Um, yeah, it, it works every time. It turns on every time as well, uh, which was a problem with that. Obviously if you are a hobbyist or new into electronics or new into SMD solving especially, then yeah, this might be a good option. But yeah, if you want to spend massive loads of time, then yes, go for it. But if you want to get some serious work done quickly, then go for this microscope. Um, it's just amazing. That's pretty much it for today. And uh, if you want to see the review of this solving station, then yeah, please subscribe and follow up my channel for the next videos. Just to give you a quick disclaimer, those guys didn't pay me anything to do this review. It's just something I wanted to show and inform my viewers if you're looking to get a good microscope, which is uh, good in price and good in quality. If you're after the review of this machine, then yeah, please subscribe and follow up on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.